I can't remember who wrote it, but the book called The First Three Minutes, Steven Weinberg's book, The First Three Minutes, a book about the first three minutes in the life of the universe, where he leads you through all this complex physics as matter is crystallizing out of hyperspace and all this stuff. All I'm saying is, let's put the complexity in the more likely end of the cycle. Let's put it at the end, when after billions of years of evolution and all kinds of complexity and that sort of thing, uh, everything comes together. So this kind of a cycle, if we were actually living in a universe like this, could completely unfold itself according to its natural laws and yet provide a miracle, the miracle of the concrescence. That's why I'm so keen on boundary dissolution. The more boundaries that have dissolved, the closer to concrescence we are. And when you finally reach it, there are no boundaries. You are eternity. You are all space and time. You are alive and dead, here and there, before and after. The singularity is a coincidencia oppositorum. It can simultaneously coexist in states which are contradictory. It is, uh, you know, Thomas Aquinas's vision of God. It's, uh, it, it's uh, something which transcends rational apprehension. But it gives the universe meaning because all process then can be seen to be a seeking and a moving and an effort to approximate, connect with, and attend to this transcendental object at the end of time. Uh, one way of thinking of it is like those bar balls that they hang in discos that send out thousands of reflections off everybody and everything in the room. Well, think of the transcendental object at the end of time as that bar ball, and then those reflected, twinkling, refractive lights are religions, scientific theories, gurus, works of art, poetry, great orgasms, great souffles, great paintings. In other words, anything which has, we even use this phrase, anything which has a spark of divinity in it is in fact a referent to the original source of the sparks of all divinity, which is the concrest, compressed, experience of life and mind after billions of billions of years of unfolding itself within the confines of three-dimensional space. And you can make this vision your friend through psychedelics because as I said at the beginning of this rave, you can see it from here. Of course, not if you have your face plunged in your stock portfolio. You're not going to see it, no. But if you will go up on the mountain and take five dried grams in silent darkness and pray through the night, you will absolutely guaranteed uh, uh, come into a sense of this thing. And it is, it's, it's real. And history is simply a... a, a um, perturbation on the surface of the waters of time as we approach the lip of this cascade into concrescence, novelty, and completion. And the psychedelics raise you out of the historical matrix and give you a sense of participation in this transcendental Reality. It's the essence of religion. It's the essence of psychic balance. It's the source of shamanic power and mental health.